A neighborhood known for violence trying to change its image takes another step in combating crime. Tonight, less than 24 hours after a man is found shot dead on an over the Rhine street, citizens are on patrol. Good evening, I'm Jay Warren in for Julie tonight. Police say 23 year old DeAndre Lewis was found dead inside a vehicle in the 100 block of East Central Parkway. This morning's homicide is just the latest in a series of violent crimes in over the Rhine tonight. Now, tonight, a dozen people took to the streets of OTR to try to prevent more senseless crime. Now, on your side's Michaelia White was with them as they patrolled their neighborhood. Michaelia? Yeah, Jay, the group has been around, around for more than 15 years, but the newest graduating class is the biggest yet as the Citizens on Patrol program gains momentum. Volunteers say they're ready to help cut crime in the area. We live in the neighborhood and uh, love li living in OTR. and. Uh, you know, we just want to make it a safer place and, um, you know, we want to give back to the community. It's Michael Hogue's first day on the job as a citizen on patrol at Washington Park. He's part of a larger effort to stop crime and over the Rhine. The citizens on patrol program is a very important part of the police division. It helps supplement uh, our police presence in the community. The neighborhood trying to change its image still has a bad rap for being a hot spot for crime. A recent WCPO digital report found shootings in the OTR area are up 38% compared to one year ago today. That's why these men and women are walking the streets. It's an opportunity to interact with new neighbors and existing neighbors and show people that We've got a whole group of people who are really committed to making this a great neighborhood for whoever wants to be here. People come up to us and report crimes and burglaries right there. You know, uh, for instance, right there, we was rolling along and guy rolled up and gave us a description of the cars and everything. So it's uh, the camaraderie and the people, the communication, the community appreciation. I am so proud of my members. I mean, from all walks of life, everybody has a different personality. Everybody brings something to the table, be it little or big. Um, we're like all um, one big community. And as I mentioned earlier, Officer Davis, who supervises the program, says their current group of more than 40 students is their largest yet. Jay. Thanks, Michaelia. New information tonight.